Hi, my name is Mihailani Wilson, and I am going to be doing a video on um, the Bulldog Weekly Project we have implemented here at DACE for the 2021 Virtual Fire Summit. Okay, step number one was to identify the problem, and that would be my research question, which is right here. Would the improvement of communication at my school enhance school culture and improve relationships between staff members and parents within the community? Step number two, two was to do outside um, research. And what I found is from um, one of the articles is that students are the most heavily impacted by school culture and in some ways the most responsible for its implementation on the ground level. It only makes sense for school leaders to include their voices in efforts to create a more positive school culture. In another study, um, I have a quote here that says, when administrators and staff give students ownership in their learning environments, it creates a sense of pride in students. And this is exactly what the Bulldog Weekly is doing, is we're giving students the power to voice their own opinions and create their own projects, which they want to record on. Step number three is develop an action plan. So what will be implemented to address the problem? To address my problem of practice, I will be creating and implementing the Bulldog Weekly, which we've already started, which is a student-run news program to keep students, staff, and families informed. Um, what resources will be needed? Some of the resources involved um, is a tablet, which we've ordered, um, a green backdrop, and a tripod. Those are just a few of the things that we need um, in order to make it a success so the kids have their own uh, technology to work with. Who is involved? There will be a team of 10 students chosen from 5th to 8th grade, and uh, I chose them at the beginning based on an application that I made. How are the students actively involved? So based on the role, some of the students are in charge of going around the school collecting information. Um, some of the students will be responsible for delivering the news, which will be the news anchors, and other students will be in charge of editing and posting the video on our school's social media platform platforms. These students will begin collecting information on Wednesday, the week prior, and then we post our video on Monday, the week of. So step number four is to implement, plan, and collect data. So I will evaluate my intended outcome by analyzing student, staff, and family survey responses given at the beginning. And I also will be giving one at the end of the year when our project is done for the year to see how their responses may have changed. Step number five, communicate results. So far, I've seen a great interest from students and staff in the Bulldog Weekly News segment. I believe that over time, we will see an improvement in school culture, as well as communication between parents, students, and staff. Step number six is to continue reflection and plan for a new cycle. So some adjustments I would like to make is to create a stronger identifier for success. I think that having a survey for both students and parents and our staff is a great start, but I would like to see concrete things that have um, come as, uh, I would like to see concrete things as a result of our news program. So this might be um, a change in the number of referrals that we give out, um, you know, just seeing changes in the students' behavior or their interest in school activities. Here is the project um, or the projected budget details. So here is the Apple iPad that we have and we are using iMovie to edit and record and publish and then um, a tripod and a green screen backdrop. And that is all. And thank you guys so much for watching. I would really appreciate any feedback that you guys have or I could answer any questions that you guys may have. Thank you so much.